The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to our webinar here this evening um, with Dig Deep Coaching and our nutritionist uh, Rob Vanderworth. So um, yeah, we're doing the ins and outs of sport nutrition. Uh, we're very lucky to have somebody of Rob's caliber here this evening. Rob is the, uh, works with us, but he also is full time with the Giant Shimano Pro Tour team, working with guys like Marcel Kittle, who um, I think won the first pro race of the year there on Sunday in Australia. And uh, so obviously has a lot of experience working with elite athletes, professional athletes, and also athletes of, of all standards. And you know, a lot of the stuff we're going to be talking about this evening is applicable to, you know, the tips, what we're learning from what we're learning from the top writers in the world and how we can apply that to really the everyday athlete like ourselves. So, um, yeah, Rob's a, an acclaimed cyclist himself. He's the Dutch marathon mountain bike champion, so, uh, so he certainly knows what he's talking about. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go through numerous slides that Rob has set out. And after that, there is, that's going to last maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then we're going to go to, at the end, we're going to have a, ta a part that you're going to be able to ask questions. We'll do our best to get through as many questions uh, as possible. Um, so I'll read them out and Rob will uh, obviously answer it. So hopefully we'll get through as uh, as much as possible. So um, And if there is some interference with uh, the sound, sometimes there can be um, some interruption. Don't worry about it. It sometimes comes and goes. It's Each person's computer is, is different, to be honest. So, um, so there we go. So I'd like to say thank you very much for Rob coming. Do you want to say hello, Rob? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the, uh, the ins and the outs of sport nutrition. And, okay. um, I want to explain you to uh, the first steps about nutrition and uh, the basic principles of uh, the sport nutrition. And I think uh, the most important thing is to find out what are the good things of your normal nutrition, so the basics of it. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the first slide, yep. it's, uh, yeah, you can see we have important the basic nutrition. And you can see what's important in sport nutrition. And they are two different kind of things. And next slide. Oh, uh, oh, hold on. I think uh, I think we have a uh, showing screen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, that's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think our, is our screen our screen showing now? Yeah. Was uh, yeah. Was there? I see the screen. Okay. Okay. Sorry for people if we couldn't see our screen before that. I think there was just a, a glitch there. Okay. So. Perfect. Now, what you can see on the, on the left side is uh, the basic nutrition. So, what we daily do uh, in the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and what we are going to eat between all the all the, the parts of eating. And the other side, on the right side, is what you do on the bike. On the bike, it's important to have something to eat, and especially also to have something to drink. But I will come on, uh, later on it. And when we go to the next slide. You can see uh, a pyramid in the next slide. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's a pyramid, and this is are the basic uh, principles where I uh, normally work with all the athletes. The most important thing is uh, in the fundament is the basic nutrition. So, what we have to eat uh, in the morning, uh, at lunch, and at dinner, that we have enough carbohydrates, enough proteins, and also enough fat, and and of uh, water and that kind of fluids. When we go with the next step, we want to see how your, uh, what kind of sport you do. For example, when you do uh, baseball or something like that, then it's the sport nutrition a little bit uh, not so necessary. But when you do cycling or triathlon or something like that, then our sport statistic, uh, sport nutrition really important. You can imagine when you're on the bike for a six or seven hours and you eat or don't drink anything, yeah, you have a really big problem. Then you don't finish or you're really fucked up. Mm -hmm. And the last step of, uh, of the, uh, the pyramid is the supplements. And yeah, normally a lot of athletes uh, just go to eat the supplements. They are thinking that it's a really important thing, but yeah, it's when you start with that, it's a big problem that you um, don't fill up everything what you have to need for your uh, body. Your body needs a lot. 
and then we can uh, further on the slides you can see that. Mm -hmm. When we go to the next slide, you can see uh, what I want to explain, what are carbohydrates, what are proteins, and what is fat. And if you go to the next slide, uh, you see the benefits of carbohydrates is uh, it gives you your body really fast energy. When you go for a sprint, your body normally uses only uh, carbohydrates, and when you go for a long endurance ride, your body use more fat instead of carbohydrates. But normally when you also always cycle, you know, there's always a combination of burning fat and burning carbohydrates. And when you go faster and faster, and your heart rate is going up, the, the, you're going to burn more carbohydrates. Now, your body needs them for uh, first, uh, but the important thing is uh, it's giving you the energy. And um, I want to, and the requirement of that is that your body needs uh, at minimum five grams a kilogram of body weight. So if you are your body weight is around seventy kilograms, your body needs a minimum of three hundred fifty grams of carbohydrate in nutrition. And in the last year. I see a lot of uh, athletes coming back from deep, deep coaching and what I normally see is that the carbohydrate intake is really too less. And yeah, that's a really big uh, important thing to improve that in, uh, in, your, in the countries of England or in Ireland, I think. And uh, when we go to the next slide, mm -hmm. see, uh, we see the proteins. Now, proteins are really important for uh, recovery and building up uh, the muscles. So when you do uh, a long endurance ride, there's always so damage in the muscles. And the proteins are uh, helping the muscles for building up again. So that's the main reason of, of the proteins. And your body needs around the one for an endurance athlete between the 1.2 and the 1.8 grams uh, body weight uh, for proteins. So, for example, when you are uh, 70 kilogram, you need around uh, 80, 80 till 90 grams of uh, proteins. But in the last researches and studies, what uh, what's coming by, it's really important to have around five or six times a day around the 20 grams of protein. And when what is 20 grams of protein? When you eat, for example. Uh, 100 gram of uh, fish or around 80 grams of uh, chicken, then you have already t uh, 20 grams of protein. And the rest of the protein, which you, for example, when you eat uh, 200 or 300 grams of protein, your body uh, don't use that as for building up the muscles. So what this means is that uh, the rest of your body don't can, can use it. It will be burned or your body will solve them as, uh, as fat. So it's really important to have a good balance there. When we go to the next slide, it's, um, you can see the fat. Now, fat is really important for uh, taking care of your body. So when you have, uh, for example, your body fat is around 4 or 5%, yeah, your body has uh, more problems to be healthy because a lot of um, what's coming by in the winter is the flu and something like that. Your body has to uh, fight uh, for that. And, it's, and the, next, the next step is a really big energy taking for your body. So it's a good, a good thing to find a, uh, the balance in nutrition to have the right almonds of fat, carbohydrates, and also the fat uh, and the proteins. I mean. Um, the requirement is, when, for example, what, what I told you is we have at least 5 grams a kilogram body weight. We need it and when you're training more and more, for example, more than 10 or 12 hours in a week, your body needs more uh, carbohydrates, a, body, a kilogram body weight. When you're cycling for 20 or 25 hours in a week, your body needs around 10 to 12 grams of carbohydrates. So that's really a lot. It's for around 700 uh, grams of carbohydrate, and that's around 
2,800 calories. And then you have only the, the carbohydrates. And when you add also the proteins, for example, around 1.5 grams a kilogram, and then you have around 100 uh, grams of protein, and when you put them together, you have with the carbohydrates and with the protein around 3,000 of calories. And from that energy intake, you need at least 20% of fat. And fat, you can find it in the good ways, and you can find it in the bad ways. And the good ways are uh, the unsaturated fat, and the bad fat is a saturated fat, what you can find in uh, baked potatoes or chips or something like that. And the unsaturated fat, you can find it in, uh, in, in nuts, in, uh, in olive oil, uh, or something like that. When we go to the vitamins, this is in the next slide, you can see we have two different kinds of vitamins. We have the water solution vitamins, and that's our the vitamin, vitamin one, B1, B2, B6, and B12 are the most important, and vitamin C. Now, normally when you take uh, supplements, your body, what you don't can adapt, you pee them out in your urine, but only vitamin B6. Your body can solve that in your uh, body. And when it is really high level, and you take a lot of vitamin B6, you can uh, have paracentase, you can find tintling in your body, and it's going around the whole body. So be aware of taking a lot of vitamin B6. And on the other side, you find the fat soluble uh, vitamins, and that are the vitamin A, B, uh, vitamin A, D, E, and K. And, uh, the same like in Holland is that vitamin D is a really important uh, vitamin. And normally, your body can, uh, makes it by themselves uh, with sunlight. But in the winter, we cannot find enough sunlight here. So we must, or we're going to Spain to find this, uh, the sun, or we have a good nutrition. And you can find it uh, with a good nutrition when you have uh, three or four times a week with uh, fat fish. Then you can. Uh, then you can have enough uh, vitamin D. Otherwise, it's, I think it's important to have some uh, supplements of vitamin D, but be aware that it is a safety one. Instead of when you have uh, you have to go you cycle in a high level and you have to go to the doping, it can always be difficult and be aware of that kind of stuff. And then we go to the minerals. The Important minerals there are is calcium, zinc, iron, and magnesium. Now, calcium you can find in um, in dairy products like milk, like yogurt, like uh, and sometimes it's it's added to soya milk or something like that. Zinc you can find it in uh, normally in the, the green vegetables. Iron we have two different kinds of iron in in our nutrition. We uh, find them in the meat, that's the good uh, iron, and we have a little bit less iron. It's not the, the best one, and then we can find it in, uh, in grains or a wall wheel, bread or something like that. And magnesium, we can find it in uh, also in uh, green vegetables. When um, you have cramps or something like that, normally a lot of people say we have to take more magnesium. But the question is, help is magnesium helping to avoid cramp? Normally, I think it's, more, it's better to uh, look at your uh, drinking habits on the bike. I think that's more uh, helping you to avoid the cramp in uh, during training or during the races. If you go to the next, you can see it. What you normally can see is. Uh, a lot of people want to find a, a good balance in the nutrition. Uh, when you want to find the good uh, power to weight ratio, it is an important thing. So what you're eating, it's the calorie in, it's the food beverage, and then you have also on the other side, you have um, carry out. So in that carry out is cycling, going to work, uh, adaptable to, uh, to, uh, to the stress or something like that. When you have don't don't find the balance in the good way or in the bad way, your body, the way your body weight is going up, or your body weight is going down too quickly. 
know, when you find a good balance in that, your body weight will uh, will be stable, and then you have a good ratio. But when you have to lose weight, then it's important to find a disbalance in your nutrition or in your uh, energy outtake or in your cycling. So when you have to lose weight, there are you can two things you can do. Is one is eat less, and two is to to train more or better on a smart way. But the most important thing is find a good balance and structure during the day when you go to training. Try to have the six meals a day. And six meals, I mean, you have a breakfast, you have a lunch, and you have a dinner, and you have every three times you have a snack between a small snack for like fruit or something like that. Um, when we go to the next slide, a lot of riders uh, have in this time they have a power meter, and on a power meter you can always see how much uh, calories or joules you are burning. And I want to explain what you are seeing on your SRAM or on your uh, uh, Garmin. Is your body needs 100% for going faster and faster. But when you move, your body only see 20 to 25 percent of the power output. For example, when you're doing an easy ride and you ride around 200 watts, your body needs around between the 800 and 1,000 watts. But a lot of things is going is is burned like heat. So your body is not the best machine for uh, for working there. And the nice thing is one watt is one joule a second. So then you can uh, calculate how much uh, calories you burn in one training or one race or one race. And that's can up to some riders what I see in the, like in Tour de France last year. It goes up to between five and six thousand calories that they burn in the, in a race, in an elite race, or, and that you cannot eat on the bike. It's, and that's really difficult to have a good balance for uh, how much you have to eat and don't uh, find problems with eating. But I will come to that later on. Um, if you go to the next slide, you can see. Now, important is the sport nutrition, what you have to eat on the bike, what are the important things. And what are the important things? It's why are we always thirsty? Yeah. When we have thirsty, then I think we are too late to drink. Then your body uh, used already 2% of your body weight, and then in the one race you never uh, sold that again. So you always uh, are two steps behind for improving or find the best time in a special race of uh, riding on the fast what you can. Why is uh, fluid so important? Now your body is uh, has around 70 or till 80 percent is fluid. So when you lose two percent, then it's a really big part of your body already. 